Hi YouTube, I wanted to do another video um, telling you guys what I've been up to late recently and talking about some more products that I like. Um, so first, I'll show you guys this. This is what I knit up for my hair to sleep in. I found that a lot of the um, store-bought sleeping caps just don't fit my hair anymore because my hair is just too much, too big. And um, I, I can use scarves, but sometimes I just feel like I'm fighting with the sheet when I put them on. So. I decided to be a little bit proactive and make my own sleeping cap. So this is knit with a rayon yarn. I did a little drawstring too. Um, so it doesn't dry my hair out. Uh, and I just use it pretty much to sleep in. And there it is up close. Very nice. Also, my um, sister asked me to make her some kind of, ooh, crazy, some kind of, um, like a tam kind of like to wear in her hair and if you see my sister's video you see she has this really big beautiful afro um and so i've been trying to work on something for her and this is a test this is my test pattern don't judge me by this i can do better <laughs> but um this is i made this with a yarn that i really like the color of well uh, and um so and i was just testing out the stitch so this is um my sister's soon to be hat uh Oh, this way. And there's a room in the back. There's a stitch up close. Nice wide stitch, good for summertime. I also did a few um, flowers to go with it so she can decorate her hat and glam it up. I did a few different sizes. I did this size and I did a smaller size. So, and I plan to make a, f you know, her a nice one of these for her birthday coming up in October. Um, I may also make some and sell them in my Etsy shop later on because I am unemployed. I got laid off from my job and I need some money. So I might be selling those soon. I'll make another video if I do decide to do that. Uh, so on to the products. So um, um, in my first video about products um, someone made a comment and they were like, why do you have so many shampoos? And I realized I do have, I do have a lot of different shampoos that I use. And I actually have a few more that I found that I like. Um, I'm pretty sure I already talked about this. This is the uh, Herbal Essences Hello Hydration line. Uh, this is my one of my favorites. It's, it's really intensely conditioning. Um, because I color my hair, my hair gets really dry and brittle and stiff and this shampoo keeps my hair really soft and moisturized and I find that I don't have to do as much to my hair during the week to keep it moisturized when I use this this line. Um, I like it a lot. This is one of my favorites. Recently I tried out this stuff. This is called Riveting Reds. One of the things with having red hair is that it's really hard to maintain the color. Like the reds fade really fast and um, it's just a really hard color to maintain. So I found this line. This is a color replenishing shampoo and a color refreshing conditioner. And let me just show this to you. It smells really good. So this, this is the shampoo. See that? The shampoo is a bright red. And the bottle says, um, the shampoo is formulated for daily use, enhancing your hair color, making it brighter, shinier, and redder slowly day after day. So this actually deposits some color in your hair. And this is the, the uh, conditioner. So both of them are really bright red and I have found that they help my hair to stay red. Like one of my biggest problems with, with my hair is that every time I wash it I lose a lot of color and after like about three or four shampoos it's like not even red anymore. But with this I found that the red stays and I'm very happy with it. And this was um... These were $6.49 each. I got them from Sally's and I'm sure there's probably a higher quality color coloring shampoo, but I like this one. It works fine for me. Um, for oils, I usually only oil my scalp right after I shampoo and I have a spray that I use on my locks whenever I feel I need it. So usually I'll, I use the JML Island Oil. This is the last of my bottle. This is the original formula that I've had for like three years. I've had this bottle for three years. That's how long it lasted me. Um, but 
they've changed their formula up now and they changed with the um, ingredients in it so when this once this bottle runs out I'm not gonna buy anymore so this is the last of it I also like this a lot this is the do grow stimulating growth oil um, the first ingredient in this mineral oil I know it's not the best I could do for my hair but I love this stuff I've used it for a long time I use it when I was natural I use it when I got my relaxer I use it now that I have locks and I like it I like the way it feels I like the way it makes my hair feel I, I like it a lot so even though the first ingredient is mineral oil I have no complaints with it and I'll continue to use it and these are my sprays actually it's the same thing in both bottles they just I use them for different purposes purposes this um, nozzle is a wider spray so I use it to spray my whole locks after or when, I'm, when I feel like I need it it has a really nice wide light spray and this nozzle is a little narrower so I use this one for um, on my roots right before I relatch my hair if my hair is dry I'm latching my hair dry to keep it from being too dry I'll spray a little bit of this on and what's what's in them both is um one bottle of this stuff I think I talked about this before this is the silk fusion smooth shine therapy repair extreme leave-in conditioner leave-in treatment and if I haven't talked about this you can find it on my blog more about it um, and I use a little bit of how much time do I have left okay a little bit of the JML leave-in um, cactus leave-in moisturizer this stuff is really thick but I, I like I like the way it works it's just really thick and it smells nasty so I use this with my um my uh, stuff and I also what else do I use oh here it is Africa's best ultimate herbal oil I like this stuff a lot a lot and I only use a little bit of it it's really thick this bottle costs $4.19 I've had it for almost a year look how much I've used because it's really good and all it takes is a little bit let me do let me read you the ingredient list in order ingredients soybean oil walnut seed oil kiwi fruit extract olive fruit oil castor seed oil sesame seed oil jojoba seed oil carrot seed oil sweet almond oil tocopherol acetate safflower oil candula extract yarrow extract cucumber extract carrageenan extract ginseng ginseng extract sage extract comfrey extract aloe extract and fragrance so it pretty much is a bottle of super oil and um a few drops of this and that's what makes this bottle that's what makes this give it the yellow color that's the oil so it usually it's about this much of that stuff the oil the jml and the leave-in treatment and like that much water and um that's what i use in my here to moisturize um every once in a while i'll use this this is the jml hair incense it's pretty much just to make your hair smell good but the ingredients are water um glycerin shea butter tea tree um essence a mango and lime tropical herbal extract whole wheat silk protein so i mean it's cool it, it has some good stuff in it too so and it smells awesome so that's pretty much it what I use for my hair um so just one new shampoo with the sign so I'm not doing too bad right uh yeah rate comment subscribe